Hey, welcome back to Pluralsight. I'm your instructor, Christopher Reese, and in this module, we're going to cover Domain 5, Access Control and Identity Management. Specifically in this module, we're going to cover authentication services, and we have basically six areas that I want to touch on. The first is RADIUS or RADIUS servers. Next would be something referred to as XTACX. Next we have TACX Plus, right? So a newer version of that uh, specific protocol and that authentication mechanism. We'll talk about LDAP and secure LDAP. Then we'll talk about Kerberos. And then lastly, something referred to as SAML. So by the end of this, we're going to know what all of these things mean. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start off, authentication services. What's the function and the purpose of an authentication service? Well, we basically want to be able to do two things. We want to verify the user and have that user's access and control of resources, you know, be monitored and controlled in some fashion, right? So we're going to verify the user and we're going to verify or control their access to what they can actually look at, open, close, modify, delete, and so forth. Then we're also going to verify the identity of servers. So two things, we're going to verify the user and we're going to verify the identity of the server. So it's really two things that were being uh, verified and authenticated here, all right? So the user to the server, also the server to the user. So ultimately, we want to provide security and we want to also help to ensure the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability of data. Recall the CIA triad. So our authentication services allows us to, from a central location, verify users and also have the servers themselves verify to the user. So that, that two-factor piece scales nicely because if you think about it, if we're in a large enterprise environment, we can't have users maintain separate usernames and passwords on 5, 10, 15, perhaps 100 or 1,000 servers throughout the environment, right? They need to have access to all of these and be able to authenticate via some type of centralized mechanism. So that's what we're going to cover next on some various ways to accomplish that.